from the Management Study Guide's content team. In this course, we will talk about neuroscience for leaders and managers in detail. Let's get started. OCM Consulting Inc. has been a leading provider of software development consulting services for over a decade. Most of OZM's software development efforts and projects revolve around databases. When Kevin Geller got promoted to the position of Global Head of Operations, one of the leading changes that he wanted to implement organizational-wide was to bring in automation. Kevin knew that automation was the demand of the day, and many small parts of the larger processes at OZM could be automated using macros. Macros are a special program that can be used to automate and run a sequence of steps that are repeated in a process each time a project is being developed. Kevin knew that there were several such steps that get repeated even in software development that could be easily done quickly and more efficiently by automating using macros. So, as soon as Kevin became the global head of operations, he started propaganda for driving automation across the organization. However, this new change was not welcomed by the employees. They started to feel that the management was doing this as a part of downsizing. So, what exactly do you think went wrong here? Is Kevin wrong in trying to bring about an improvement in the current processes? No, absolutely not. Improving a process is the best thing to do for an organization. However, Kevin forgot to keep one crucial aspect in mind. The human brain. That's right. The human brain is so conditioned that it makes people hate change and are afraid of it. Change provokes sensation of physiological and mental discomfort in human beings. Don't you think it would have been better if Kevin had been aware of this crucial aspect of the human brain? This is where the role of neuroscience for leaders and managers plays a significant role in managing people by keeping the physiological aspect of the human brain in mind. Because no matter how different one person is from another, many aspects of the human brain on human behavior can be generalized across all human beings. This is what neuroscience helps in understanding when trying to manage your employees. Let us learn about neuroscience for leaders and managers in further detail. Let's review the course objectives. Explain why use neuroscience for management. Explain the principles of neuroscience. List the areas affected by neuroscience for management. Describe perceptions and mapping driven by human mind. Explain psychological challenges to managing people. Explain uses of neuroscience for management. Explain how neuroscience changed management principles. Explain how to create effective relationships. Explain how to overcome barriers to change. Explain the neurological levels in neuroscience. List the leadership characteristics affected by neuroscience. List leadership skills neuroscience helps develop. Describe how to manage through mind games. Explain impact of using neuroscience on performance. List the benefits of neuroscience for management. Did you know the knowledge and understanding of neuroscience help understand neutron activation patterns which is crucial to help managers and leaders engage effectively with clients and subordinates and facilitate change of uncomfortable or less helpful patterns of thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Before understanding the application of neuroscience to management, it's crucial to understand some of the key principles of neuroscience, which are categorized as follows. Discovery of mirror neurons, neuron activation, Brain development. Let's look at each one of them in detail. 
Uses of neuroscience for management. There are various uses of neuroscience for management, such as the following. It's widely used in the business sector to improve management, sales, and interpersonal skills. It's used in the organization system to better understand different styles of learning. It's used to develop rapport with two people and to assist in the levels of personal motivation. Neuroscience by itself is a profound tool for strong personal development for leaders and managers. In the management sector, neuroscience training leads to greater self-confidence and higher self-esteem. Neuroscience training enables people to become more balanced. There are a few key management approaches or strategies that have been questioned and called for to be changed by neuroscience. These are Number 1. Carrot and Stick Method Number 2. Humanistic or Niceness Approach Number 3. Change Management Number 4. Multitasking And Number 5. Motivation and Employee Engagement Let's look at each one of them in detail. The carrot and stick approach to management uses rewards to foster positive behavior and punishment to deter negative behaviors in employees. As a means of making sure that her subordinates perform well and she thrives in her managerial roles, Wendy has come up with a set of rules that she will use to reward or punish her subordinates. Here's a tip. Based on findings of neuroscience, researchers believe that the best way for managers and leaders to manage people is to use a balanced combination of all three, head, heart, and guts, or instinct. Following detailed sets of approaches can be pursued as well for overcoming barriers to change. Make them the hero. Show them the potential of change. Painting the alternatives. Involving them in the change. Let's look at each one of them in detail. Multitasking. Another important aspect that neuroscience challenges with respect to management is to discourage people from multitasking. While multitasking is something that most managers and leaders would like their subordinates to do, it's not something that will empower the employee to perform better. Managing through mind games. Strategies you can use to manage others through using psychology and mind games are as follows. Know what you want. What is your purpose in managing others? In order to manage others, you must have the end in mind. Impress. Manage others through your charm and speech patterns. Remember that people want to please someone they admire and respect. Reward them. Money is always a motivator. It may be the easiest and quickest way to get what you want, but it can be expensive. This is just a demo of the complete course. With every course, you get to view the course content online, download the PowerPoint presentation, and get the course completion certificate. With new courses added regularly, we offer a continuous learning platform. Join our premium membership plan and get access to unlimited courses. All of our plans are backed up by a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you are not completely satisfied, we'll give you a full refund. We are so confident that you'll enjoy the membership that we're willing to let you try at our risk, not yours.